In this video, we are going to cover exporting to LandXML. LandXML is a popular file format for moving data between different ground modeling software products and is also commonly used in machine control systems. To do this, you click on File, Export, LandXML. We then have a variety of options to decide what information we export from the Kubla-Qt project into the LandXML format. It can sometimes be better not to export everything because you don't want your file cluttered with information that you might not need. Unlike in the CAD format, LandXML isn't separated into layers so you can find that if you have a lot of information, it can get very confusing. This form allows us to choose the entities we want to export. The first thing is that you can select which phases you export to LandXML. By default, it will export the current phase. To change this, you just select the phase you want to export as well. Now you can choose to include the input data. For example, this would include the contour lines that you've used to define your elevation information in Kubla Cubed, if you have used contours. Now, I'm not going to export input data this time. Then you can choose whether you want to include triangulations or tints. These are the surfaces that have been used in the software. You'll probably be exporting this most of the time, so you usually keep that ticked. You can choose to export just the disturbance area or the whole surface. In some applications, you might need just a disturbance area, but this time I'm going to export everything. You can also generate contour lines and grid the data from the surface and include these in the export. Some programs might not support tints, so you may want to export gridded data to import into a program like that. Likewise, the contour lines might be needed for use in another application. This last section is the Earthworks lines. These lines are useful for referencing various things on the site, like the boundary of platforms or slopes that you've defined in the Kubla Cubed file. It also gives you the cut and fill line, which is very useful in machine control. While the tins can tell you the elevation of the proposed and the existing, it can also be useful to have the cut and fill lines as an extra reference. So we'll click OK and save that to the desktop. So I exported and it automatically opened with my default XML viewer, which for me is the free Carlson viewer. And here we have the proposed team and the line work that we've exported. You can see here that we've got the different sections for the different elements that we've exported. We've got the earthworks lines, we've got the generated contour lines, and if you expand them, you can get extra details. It also has different sections for the outlines, the fill boundary, the cut boundary, and here are the generated contours. So you can see how powerful this system is. You can use this to export these entities into another software or to load it into a machine control system so that you can see it on site. That was a brief overview of the LandXML format. Thank you for watching.